Um, and that they have a suspect in custody, uh, that obviously that this was a rapidly evolving situation this morning when it broke out just after 10 o'clock, where uh, you had uh, local, state, and federal agencies swarming that campus really within a matter of minutes. And um, earlier uh, in the afternoon, Christine, I, I referenced a Facebook post from back in 2022 mm -hmm. from school resource officers up in Barrow County at this very high high school going through a drill uh, to prepare for an eventuality exactly like this um, to respond to a shooting, God forbid, when and if it happened, and, and today it did. And how many times do we cover stories like that? It seems mundane, right, to say that these departments are doing these drills, and now we see today how necessary uh, those drills and practice sessions are. Let's go out live to our Eric Perry, who is also on the ground, uh, who is speaking to someone here to hopefully give us some more information on what happened today, Eric. Yeah, Christine, Tom, we've been following the parents as they've come down. We've also seen more flooding coming in from different law enforcement agencies. Of course, my perspective is outside, but I'm here with Camille. Camille, you were inside the school. Walk us through. First of all, thank you. You here. Um, well, I was sitting in my classroom and he kind of he came up to my door or the door to our classroom. Um, classmate got up um, she went to open the door, but she didn't because um, she saw that he had a gun. She announced it. Um, as soon as she announced it, he started firing. Uh, we all went into the corner. Um, yeah, we just kind of heard a lot of gunshots. Um, then we heard a lot of, and then like maybe like three minutes later, we heard police running in. Um, and then uh, as soon as we uh, went out, it was um, flooded with police officers and a lot of deputies. So I want to be I want to be clear. You saw the gunman come to your classroom door. Uh, yes, sir. He was my classmate. What is going through your mind? This isn't every ordinary day. You're seeing the gun. Just walk us through that because to a lot of people watching, you're young. Yeah, you should not have to deal with that. Walk us through this if you can. Um, I mean, I just kind of got up um, was getting ready. I mean, I never, like, a lot of people say that it's something that you never really think is going to happen. It's not something that goes through your mind in the morning, and it's it's really not something that goes um, through your mind in the morning. Um, as soon as I got to school, um, I was excited. I was, I was, I really wanted to be at school that day. Um, and, like, it was just complete, like, bust because I was hoping for a good day, and it just turned into a terrible one for families and everyone. How many gunshots do you remember hearing, if you can even remember how many? Um, at our door, I'm going to say four. I remember hearing four. Um, and then he went to the other classroom next to ours, and I'm pretty sure I heard like six, eight gunshots. And then um, I'm pretty sure he moved on to another hall because I heard more gunshots. Have you processed this? I don't, I don't know if you have. This has just happened. How are you even processing this? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of in shock. I was uh, in a lot of shock because I never really thought it would just happen to my school. Um, I know it happens to others, but I'm, it just kind of was like I didn't really think it was going to happen to my school. Um, it's definitely something hard to process, um, especially if you know some of those kids. Um, and I mean, it's only like the second month of school, so it's like really very shocking. That you can through from a parent's perspective, getting all of this, what is even going through your mind as you're processing this? Um, my wife's a teacher. She was teaching at the elementary school next door and I got a text that we had an active shooter situation. And of course your first thought is, is my wife? And then you're thinking about the other students and other parents, and are they safe? So at that point in time, I just was praying that the God would protect my child, the other children. Um, it's it's just a sad day, but it's a it's a parent's worst nightmare. And again, you, you hear the cliches about you never thought it would happen in your area, uh, and that's true. But uh, it is a sad day, and we want to make sure that we're praying and supporting those families that have had tragedy into their homes. I know you guys have been out here all throughout the morning. You've had a very rough morning. As we leave, describe this school and describe this community. I mean, this this does not even come front of mind to a lot of people that are happening here. Describe this community for us. Um, I have a lot of 
are really nice. Um, love, I love all of my teachers. They're, um, they're definitely someone I could go to if I needed to talk. Um, my coaches are like that too. Um, I mean, it's just, it's small. It's not, um, everyone kind of sometimes gets along with everybody. Um, everyone has fights, um, sometimes. Um, but I feel like the school is a good place to go, and I feel like just that happening kind of separates everybody, kind of, and everybody wants to be isolated and not really talk about it. Um, so I feel like this is going to be kind of a hard thing to get through for the whole school. Absolutely. Camille, thank you so much. You've had a very long morning, and we're praying for you, and we're praying for you as well, okay? Thank you. Thank you, guys. So you guys, that was a live interview that you were listening to with Camille. She says that the gunman came to her door. They did not let that gunman in. She describes hearing four to five shots outside of that. The magnitude of what you just listened to. She is 15, 16 years old inside, knew that person, said he was the classmate, saw the gun, heard the gunshots, did not let them inside of that particular classroom. Imagine these people first thing in the morning, they are huddled up. I'm just getting chills, just redescribing what you heard just there. And then they heard to go to a classroom next door where they heard even more gunshots and then coming to find out all of this tragedy that happened here. So there's still a a lot of activity and a lot of emotions. Again, this is someone who is young. This is our next generation, and this is something that they are dealing with. Christine, Tom, um, tossing it back to you guys for now. Wow. And we do want to thank our Fox 5 Atlanta team for their continuing coverage as we continue to follow the breaking news after we understand there were multiple injuries uh, after a high school shooting there at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. You're taking a live look outside the high school right there as there continues to remain an incredibly heavy law enforcement presence right there. We do understand that the suspect is now in custody. That that's according to a very short briefing by law enforcement agents a short time ago. So we do know that the suspect currently is in custody. And in fact, from our Fox 5 Atlanta coverage, we were hearing that live interview as the reporter was speaking with a high school student saying that she knows the gunman. And they were terrified as they barricaded themselves inside their classrooms. We also want to let you know that at 4 p.m. Eastern time, we are expecting authorities to give a second update on this shooting as they are calling this a very fluid investigation, not providing many details during their first briefing as they say they are being very careful in order to make sure that all the information they provide is accurate. So at this point in time, we do know that multiple people were injured in this shooting. We know that the suspect is in custody and beyond that, we are still waiting to hear a lot of answers to the questions many of us are having who is the suspect was the suspect a student we did hear from someone saying that the suspect was in fact a student authorities have not yet confirmed that we also don't know what, what the motive was of the suspected gunman we do not know the conditions of those uh, injured and we are waiting for that information as well we are continuing to follow this breaking news after this two-minute break stay with us